weird weekly we got here. We get the broom, okay. Start of turn, remove all friends, and gain the turn number plus nine in gold. I don't know what to think about this one. It's the Wackly Weekly Pack. Let's check it out. So, I don't know what the caution sign is. I guess just to notify you that it's there. Here, let me crunch down a little here. So, remove all friends, gain the turn number plus nine in gold, like we were just talking about. So, Generally speaking, it sounds like you just want to go the best units you can find at the time, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be a little weird. At least some amazing husbands. That's so true. Okay, we draw. Makes sense. Now we have 21 gold that we have to work with here. Um, let's do this. Maybe we can try to get a level up. Um, roll me once. Okay. Can I overwrite it? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, they're separate. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Let's just do it like this. I guess that would have been a bit of an oversight if you could just overwrite the thing. Take another draw? Sure. We will take those. Kangaroo is good. Another kangaroo. Dumbo octopus? Maybe? I don't think we're gonna roll that many times though, so probably not. You can go up front here. Bigfoot, I guess, is good. It carries over to the next round. Here. Just give you some meat. So yeah, it's a strange kind of... You're going for one turn buff, right? And that's it. See, like, if, if you can win one turn, it doesn't carry over to the next one. So there's no momentum or anything. Which I guess is kind of fun. Kind of an interesting strategy. Go here. Sure, get a little African penguin action. I guess snail is as much momentum as you're gonna get. Um, let's just roll here. Sure. So we can't, <laughs> that's tough. So we're not gonna have any any uh, lucky cats next turn. Otherwise freezing here would be really good. But since we're gonna hit tier three, we don't wanna freeze. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Feels like this is gonna go on for a long time. Osprey's good, Flea is good. Generally, this is just a solid team here with the flying fish. Roll me. May we go here. Is Minotaur or Dolphin better in this case? I think Dolphin. Because Minotaur is going to be a 3-4 in all likelihood. Yeah, let's do Dolphin. Just throw in a meat bone, I guess. <laughs> Just cuz, I suppose. Cuz we can. Hey. And we get another win. Huge. We are two and two to five now. So Nightcrawler seems like a play. Um Give you some garlic. Can we find another Nightcrawler, maybe? Ooh, we do find another Nightcrawler. Don't think we... We're not gonna sell for a skunk. So we'll just leave it as is. Maybe I'll freeze Weasel, because I like Weasel. That's at least some extra gold we can work with.
That was very fortunate for the flea there. Otherwise our kangaroo would have died and we would have for sure lost. So flea OP. My boy. Love to see it. Okay, well this is fantastic. Platypus is also very good. Sure. Let me get another whale. Um, maybe, maybe not. Could go crow. Let's not do that though. We didn't find the other whale. Let's just throw a baguette in here. Call it a day. I don't know. I'm not sure what kind of perk he might have, but <laughs> just in case, I guess. Oh yeah, dude, we're good. <laughs> we're so good. Chili OP. Okay. Weasel me. Buffalo. Do a little buy sell action here. <laughs> A little weird, but maybe that's the play. I mean, we could eat. We could eat a weasel. That seems fun. Give you a pear, give you some cherries. Give you cherries. I don't know if. I don't know how the food works there. If we give cherries to the weasel. Does the whale go off before the weasel's food does? I don't know how the attack setup works. Okay, they're doing a similar kind of vibe here. But we're good. We don't even need the buffalo that we spent all this time buffing. <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby. Let's do this. Let's actually just give you lemon while we're here. Here, roll me. We could combine and throw in a blobfish. I don't know, I kind of feel like... Let's hold on to it, see what else we can find. Could also do zebra. Um, let's see. Nearest friend mine, one experience, give w one more friend in battle. Okay. Not really doing anything for us, you know? We're gonna like this. We can blobfish next turn. I think blobfish is really good. Don't think it's play right here. Well, oh, the snipes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Dolphin. Um, we are still gonna lose though, because he is a giant homie. Alright, first loss on the board. Not ideal, but... I think we're gonna be okay. A little 614 action right here. Um, let's throw in a silver fox, I think. We could whale on the scorpion. I don't really know why we would do that. <laughs> what if we do this? Give you a durry and call it a day. This isn't the greatest team ever created. I'll be the first one to say that. Dang, dude, these guys are huge. Okay, we get a snake. Nightcrawler. Sabertooth. Fly. Bar. And Peach of Immortality is gonna be the play. I'm calling it right now. 
So we're gonna want to do it like this because we want the fly triggers um, to not start yet until the night crawler finishes his thing. So let's look for some some levels, I suppose. Mongoose would be good. We could also just throw in a wolf in the front too. What is this? A 3-5? We could otherwise get a 3-3, three, three, but then we also get the mongoose toy with peanuts. Hard to say no to that one, right? And... Or we just Puma? Get double peanuts? Let's try that. Okay. Well, in that case, let's do it like this. Right? Because in the saber tooth we'll get the summon and the fly, you know, the whole shtick. That whole thing. Nice, snipe on the fly. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Alright, what do we get here? Take a snake here. Triceratops, Puma, roll me. Run it like this. Don't give him a banana, that wouldn't make any sense. One second. Um, oh, you're gonna get the peanut, aren't you? That's right. Well, that's a little silly now, isn't it? That's okay. I don't like this, actually. We have enough gold, and we have the turkey here to buff. I don't really mind wasting a little bit. If, we, if, if I think it'll get us in a better spot, I think it's worth it. Alright, Macaque we can keep with the chocolate. Try to get a level 2 next turn. Huge. <laughs> How are they getting level 3s out here? What is going on? There's some crazy strat that I'm missing right now. Mongoose, Peanut on you, Peach of Immortality, that's a 2-2 two, two right there. Okay, we go here. Grab Puma. Okay. <laughs> Pretzel's pretty good, it's a 4-4. Four, four. So we're gonna run it like this. We can't, because the, the macaque is gonna go before the whale now. Alright. Run it like this, then. And then we're just going to have to eat the turkey. Dude, holy, holy moly, dude. <laughs> this is not going great. We're okay, though, maybe. We're okay. <laughs> we're alive. Alright, throwing a snake. Um, whale is good. Triceratops. Obviously not in front of the whale. That would be silly. Level you. Sabertooth. That is perfect, I think. 
Go saber tooth here. So the whale eats the saber tooth, but the peanut goes first. We actually need to do it like this, which is a little funky, but I think that's okay. Okay. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything better. All right. So levels, I think, are the play here. And the levels are how you get how you get it done. Go fly. We can go whale. Let's try to get the fly leveled, maybe. R is good. There it is. Keep the fly for next turn because fly is OP. And turkey because turkey fly is even more OP. Alright. <laughs> How's this gonna do? Let's find out. Not quite. I thought we had it there for a second, but not not quite enough. I think the chili hurt us in the end. It got way too many triggers off of that Triceratops. This is a weird weekly. I don't know how many videos we're gonna do on this. I don't know how different you can make it. It's once we get the hang of it, I don't know, that, that might be it, but it's fun. I like the wacky weekly. Let's, let's run it back. Okay, so we go Suchinoko, we go Firefly. Throw on a Marmoset, I suppose. Firefly is like our little, a little baby badger of sorts. Uh, I don't think this, it'll get him a draw, okay. Suchinoko again, because it's good. Mermel, sure. We do this, and then technically Magpie is better because they're going to disappear anyways. Oh, so close. It's okay, we get the heart back. Forgot about that. Nail me. Hedgehog. Nightcrawler. Hedgehog is obviously going to have to be in the back here. Otherwise, he's going to nuke everybody. Alright, how does this go? Probably not great, but maybe not bad. Um, it's gonna go bad. Well, it's gonna get a- it's a- a draw is fine, you know, we'll take a draw. That's not a problem. Go here. Go Pogo. Right, just we're trying to get a couple high health guys just in the hopes of not dying <laughs> so these guys are gonna deal four run it like this so bigfoot can at least hit a few times and then you guys will attack a bunch and then hope the kangaroo is alive at the end that's the strat Okay, and we're good. Look at that. It worked out perfectly. One food from other packs. I wonder if it's 
if you could get like a tier six food doing this. Um, Garial seems good. We'll throw Garial in the mix. Grab a little, what are we gonna do? Lowest health probably? I think it's generally pretty good. Let's just roll for, for science here. See what the Dumbo Octopus does. Okay, so it does look like it has to be a food that you could get on your tier. A little less exciting. Uh, Meerkat is going to be huge. Here you go, Meerkat Basilisk or something. Okay. Something like this. Not quite. See, we didn't. We need to get summons. We don't have enough summons on our team. Roll me. Hamel's pretty good. We could run a weasel, I suppose. I think we actually do it like this. So you go here. These two are going to have a ton of attack. What is that? Plus nine attack on each of them. <laughs> that's not that's not bad. I think we can work with this. Looking good. It was fortunate that the garlic got a ton of hits there. Hey, either way, we take those. They're on the crow. Meerkat, always good. Osprey Dart Frog is typically pretty good as well. With the pineapple. And then maybe we do it. Let's see. If we sell you, we only have eight gold. We get the level. Tell you what, sell you. So let's just keep these frozen. We're gonna use those next round. Okay, don't need you. Let's say we just rip it. Full send. We're putting all of our money on this dart frog, by the way. If the dart frog doesn't work out, we're in trouble. <laughs> Um, almost. We almost had it. Very close. Um, let's see. So tar is going to be great. Ogopogo. Or on a gingerbread. That'll be our guy there. Meerkat is good as well. Maybe we throw in a skunk. Platypus. <laughs> Feels like we're kind of just here. Yeah, let's do it like this. I think having two chocolates reserved is just so good. We could also. I wonder if the the whale eating the platypus does more than a skunk. Probably. There's just extra summons at that point. And then the whale gets a ton of attack. Ouch. Hey, we live. <laughs> We're alive. Alright. So who do we want here? Let's 
Dart Meerkat. Another Meerkat. What if we do Poison Dart Frog? Get him level 2. That's what I was hoping for. Get a fly out here. Um, skunk could be good. Hold the chocolate. I think we run it like this, right? Then the skunk goes, fly hits. There, and then just like a ton of attack back here. I think that's probably good. I'm not sure. <laughs> Give you a pineapple for fun. And then turkey is obviously very good. We can keep a turkey around for sure. Good snipes. Don't know if we're going to be able to take on a full summon team. But now we are the full summon team. Another one? <laughs> Maybe? What do we get? Osprey is good. I think we ditched the anglerfish though. Take advantage of these buy cells. And then let's see. I don't want to do whale because we just buffed this guy. But we can go cow. Get this guy huge. Roll me. We could go luckle, lucky, <laughs> lucky cat level up. Hold on to the chocolate. Throw in a night crawler. Let's try to find one more good summon pet. That's very good. And then we'll save the chocolate for next turn. Seems like in general saving chocolate is the way to go. That's like always a good play. I mean, there's no way we lose this one, right? Yeah, no, we're good. We're like way good. Level two turkey is like a guaranteed win. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> Let's go out back. Huh? That's a good start. All right, level two fly is even more guaranteed of a win. Um, we could go Puma. I'm thinking we just do the buy, sell oyster, take advantage of this. Try to get a turkey. Maybe a snake. Go Mongoose here. In a jar, of course. I think we throw in an easy summon, and then we need to switch out this alpaca for somebody. I was hoping we'd find another snake, but we did not. Give me one more roll. Hang on to the dolphin just in case. Just kidding. Tell you, who do we want? White tiger? White tiger on the fly? Yeah, let's do that. That just seems great. 12 12s out here. <laughs> That's going to be so strong. And then... I don't know if I'm like in love with Mongoose, like freeze it for the next round kind of thing. Looking good. Yeah, I mean the 12 12s are just too strong. <laughs> it's just so good. You really can't go wrong. All right. We have a pretzel. I love pretzel. Not with that squad. Um, tar maybe? We gotta find a good foundation here. Anglerfish? Okay, maybe we try this. 
Fly is great. Platypus with the fly is also great. We could do the buffalo with the platypus buy sell, but I don't think it's the play. Go here, go here. Okay, we can get the level here. Another alpaca we could do. I think this is better though. We just accept that we have this random alpaca here for no reason. But I, I think this is going to be pretty solid and we have a chocolate queued up for next turn. So it seems like a chocolate kind of angle from what I can tell. And I think we're good. You get enough summons and you're generally just, you got enough, you know? <laughs> we going dragon? I'm down to try it. There's only one way to know if dragon is good. We have to get level two though. I will use you though. All right, well, we didn't find level two. Maybe dragon wasn't the play. There are a lot of good tier one buy cells, but I mean, this team is super bad. <laughs> You yeah, know. Um, let's see, you get three experience. Okay. I think we buy, sell Garial and hope that's going to be our play. We'll deal six to let's see if we can snipe someone, I guess. I like the idea of Peach Immortality. Okay, he's only dealing five, that's good. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little surprised that we won that one, but we'll take it. All right, skunk, wolf, cow, snake, mongoose. Let's try it. Cow isn't bad. Okay, another cow. We just going like a giant wolf right here <laughs> with a melon. This seems like it's not gonna end well. Good Puma with the foam sword. If we can find like a turkey or something, we'd be in a good spot, but <laughs> I'm not seeing any of those. This team looks really bad. <laughs> Prepare for a loss. Okay, maybe not. We kind of goofed up their team a little bit for what that's worth. Oh baby. <laughs> There is no business winning that one. All right. Start me out with the blowfish, just because we have an, an instant level. Gotta get a fly. Fly is OP. Always buy, sell. Um, give me a wolf here. Or like you. It's a little funky. Go gingerbread man here. Definitely want a turkey. And then what? Saber tooth, perhaps? Give give another attempt on the fly here. There he is. I think we just send it here. We get the level two fly. Not like this. Have you up front in case there's peanuts, and then have you in the back. Um, we're not going to keep the saber tooth. We'll keep one. Keep you, keep you. I think this is good. 
The key I'm starting to realize is you have to get a foundational pet like ASAP, you know? You can't find a good early foundational pet. The turn is kind of screwed. Hey, we'll take it. Level 2 fly versus level 2 fly. <laughs> uh, we actually need to do this first, otherwise we waste it. Fly, thank you. Okay, roll me. I don't think we need pretzel right now. Foundational unit, please. That's fine. Not foundational, but we can work with it. That's a level 2 fly right there. PDF, we can work with. Turkey is always good. Let's run it like this, and then throw you in. A lot less summons than we typically would want here, but maybe with the fly level 2 we're gonna be good. We'll see. Oh, fantastic. Oh, we got our turkey, dude. Come on. Dude, the level 2 snake is just too strong. Speaking of... <laughs> hey, if we can get it to work, I'll, I'll do it. Go here. Here. We need to find a snake or gingerbread maybe, but that would be less exciting. Um, hold on to you. Roll me. We did not find another snake. That's unfortunate. Okay. Obviously one wasted some in here, but who cares? The idea is we use this snake here. Ooh, big snipes. Oh yeah, dude, we're golden. We're so online right here. We're at nine wins. Can we pull it off? Nine wins, one loss. Let's get the peanuts back in here. Freeze the chocolate. Come on, we gotta get something. There's the fly. Level two. Macaque seems good. We can actually do it like this and get two peanuts in one. Turkey's huge. Sabertooth, Peach of Immortality. Pretzel, <laughs> can we do it? Hold on to the anglerfish for next turn. Surely this has got to be enough. We got the level 2 fly, we got the turkey, we got the saber tooth. Come on. <laughs> this is as good as I can do. What do we got? They don't have snipes, that's a good sign. Huge. Insta-kill with the peanuts. Oh baby. Dude, come on. What more do you want from me? I don't know what I, what else I can do here. We got so many things here and it just didn't matter. I don't know. I guess the level 2 turkey is better than level 2 fly. Who would have thought? Not I. Not that we had the opportunity for the turkey earlier, but... Wow. Dude, we gotta get the 10 wins and then I'm probably never touching this weekly again. <laughs> we gotta get it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're back. We gotta get this one. Come on. Get the Cuddle Toad. It's just a 2-3 because it's going to go away next turn, but... I think this is okay. That's fine. <laughs> Early draw is great. Ooh, hold on. Another Basilisk? Hey, okay. Huge. Um, I don't really think we care about these. I'll keep a Nightcrawler because it's good. 
I did all that for a few two fours. <laughs> Let's just take a second and appreciate that. All right. I mean, the two fours got us there. They got us a win. Early wins are huge here. I guess it's fine. <laughs> Bigfoot's good. You're good. Kangaroo is always good. Duckling, we can sell for somebody. Maybe? Sure. I feel like you're gonna have more triggers, right? I mean, like, the Sphinx is probably going to hit more times than the Nightcrawler. Oh no, that's a friggin' 3-6 summoning, just kidding. <laughs> or 3-7, actually. Once this Nightcrawler pops off. Didn't realize how many guys we were summoning out here. Alright. Ooh, look at that. For Blam. Magic Carpet OP. Alright, start me with the Nightcrawler. Couple big foots. Sorry, big feet, my bad. Duckling. Duckling number two. We can roll twice. Okay. Go here. And then I guess we're just throwing in. What a cuddle toad. Just get three, three, three homies here. This is going to be a four, seven when it spawns, thanks to our magic carpet. This is the kicker. The Bigfoots are just giving us some extra, a little extra moolah. A little me money, if you will. Kangaroo's the one cooking. <laughs> Eight, twelve out here. Turn four. How insane. All right, lucky cat me. Hmm. I don't like this. Alright, we'll go fly, please. Um, we don't need a flying fish, for obvious reasons. I will take a level, though. Aerial toy? Why not? Foam sword early is cracked. And now we're gonna get one extra gold next turn. Huge. That is fantastic. It's not actually fantastic. Not quite. So it's more and more seeming like summons are the play here. The more I play this weekly. Take the level. Platypus or whale? I think the platypus might be better. Whale would get us a little extra gold though, so maybe that's something. <laughs> we could do that one. Get a little extra health, you know. Alright, so Dolphin's going to be dealing some damage. Whale is maybe going to deal a little bit. Ooh, big snipe on the kangaroo. That's huge. We didn't get many weasel triggers, but so be it. Well, this just looks dandy. <laughs> Why not? Go here. Go here. Anything else? Nightcrawler is fine. Whale, maybe? On the on the flea. Whale tar might actually be better, to be honest. And then you have the tar ability as well. I think that's gonna be stronger. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And then we get you, yeah. Tar just saved us right there. So hard. The whale or the elephant didn't even get to attack. 
All right, roll me. What do we get? I can grab a pug here. Grab a whale. Good. We get the level up. Go foam sword. Lee might be the play here. Gain some extra health, I guess, while we're here. It's a completely different game before and after tier 5. Oh, they sniped us. What the crap was that all about? That's not allowed. Because <laughs> once you get tier 5, chocolate is unlocked, and then it's like completely different. Alright, guess we're going by, so. Go here. Technically, Triceratops would be better for the milk. I'm tempted to put it on the Silver Fox for greed. <laughs> I guess we're getting 30 gold anyways, though, aren't we? I mean, is Silver Fox even doing anything? Buy, sell. A nice little pineapple here. A little Triceratops action here. Hold on to you. Okay. We can get a level 2 anything. Probably go Triceratops. Get snipes. Yeah, nice try, bucko. <laughs> that woodpecker didn't quite work for you, did it? Alright. So go Triceratops, get a tier 6. Just give him a white tiger. And Meerkat is good. Honestly, let's just do this. Guarantee two chocolates next turn. And then hopefully we'll get a good foundational tier 6. If not, we'll just be sad, but that's okay. Sometimes being sad is good for you. Good. Beautiful. And we're not even losing. We're setting up for next turn and we're not losing this turn. <laughs> How nice is that? Alright, roll me. Mongoose ain't it, but we can grab him. Go some peanuts. Lie is definitely it. I want to try dragon, it's just not, <laughs> not this time, you know? Um, turkey is obviously very good. Get rid of you, throw in a skunk probably. This is great. Set up for yet another two chocolate turn next time. We get a couple summons here on the Sabertooth. Hey, <laughs> let's try it. Let's try the dragon. If there were any time to try it, now would be that time. All right. Good, good peanuts, I love it. I mean, this is just way over. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so invested. We have a level 3 fly. With a turkey. Alright. So start me here. Another dragon. Is actually insane. And now we just buy sell tier 1s. Hopefully we can find some. <laughs> There we go, we found one. Huge. Okay, I mean, the stats are pretty good. 
They're not like amazing, but they're they're decent. We also aren't at all set up for next turn, so that's a little unfortunate. Well, let's see how this does. We're gonna need it. There's a lot of snipes here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we had enough dragon right there. I was not sure if we would. All right, give me a turkey. Roll me. Give me a mongoose peanuts. You know how it is. Let's see, try to get the fly out here. Ooh, no fly. It, I think flea is better. Throw a saber tooth in the mix. Hold on to the chocolate. We can give you a banana. Just a little extra summons. There's the other chocolate. Maybe we don't do the flea. No, we probably should. It's just like the saber tooth isn't buffing like anybody now. <laughs> so it's a little unfortunate. Um that's fine. Yeah, okay. We could also get rid of the white tiger. But I think we're good here. Maybe we just set up for next turn. We can get a puma. Dude, dragon is... With this setup, I'll take a dragon. But <laughs> he's a little dicey. A little bit. Good. I think we're alright. And then, yeah. That'll get us there, and we finally get the dub. I think we were gonna get next turn, if not this turn. We had the level 2 dragon queued up with the double peanuts with the Puma. Yeah, that one was pretty well set up. But hey, let me know what you guys think. This is an interesting weekly. Definitely let me know if you enjoy it. I think it would be a fun kind of game mode, perhaps? Maybe not for the full week, right? I don't personally think I'm going to play a whole lot more of this because it's kind of, you know, once you're there, you're there. But I'm enjoying it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun enough. Hope you enjoy as well. I'll catch you in the next one.